Hi, welcome to Automate M365. In this video, we'll create an approval flow using Power Automate. In this example, we use Microsoft Forms to submit a request, but there are many options to trigger a flow and perform actions. You'll learn how to approve or reject requests automatically, and later we'll show how to optionally track approvals in Teams. Step 1. Create a Microsoft Form First, create a Microsoft Form to collect requests. Include fields like Description, Department, Status, Priority, Request Date, Deadline Date, and Colleague. This form will trigger the approval flow when submitted. Step 2. Create a flow in Power Automate. Go to Power Automate and click Create. Then select Automated Cloud Flow. Give your flow a name, like Approval Flow Example. Select the trigger when a new response is submitted, Forms, and choose your form. Add a Get Response Details action so the flow can access all the submitted form fields. Step 3. Build the approval flow. Add a start and wait for an approval action. In Power Automate, there are several approval options. First to respond, the flow completes as soon as one approver responds. Everyone must approve, all approvers must approve for the request to be approved. Custom responses, wait for all responses, collect multiple responses and handle different outcomes. In this example, we use first to respond. Include the form fields in the approval details so approvers see all relevant information like description, department, status, priority, request date, deadline date, and colleague. Set yourself as the approver for this demonstration. Step 4. Add a condition action. Add a condition action to check if outcome equals approve. If yes, send an email to yourself confirming the approval, and continue the flow with any additional actions. If no, send an email to yourself notifying that the request was rejected, then terminate the flow. This ensures approved requests proceed automatically, while rejected requests stop the process, and you receive clear email notifications in both cases. Step 5. Test the flow. Submit a test response in the form. Confirm that, the approval is triggered and sent to you. The condition behaves as expected, approved requests send an approval email and continue, rejected requests send a rejection email and terminate.
optional, track approvals in Teams. Once the flow is working, you can add a Teams notification to alert yourself or your team about the approval outcome. This makes it easy to stay informed without manual follow-up. Wrap up. That's it. You've automated approvals using Power Automate, explored different approval options, used a condition to manage outcomes with email notifications, and learned how to optionally track approvals in Teams. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to Automate M365. Leave a comment with your ideas or questions, and I will read them and can create new content based on your suggestions.